Hey, how's it going? This is Matthew Ashton. This is uh, Java 2, 14.08. And yeah, this is our project number one for Fragment and File Fundamentals. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and rerun my application here. Uh, this week was a little challenging for me. Uh, as you can see, I finished pretty late here, but I was able to, I'm pretty sure, get everything for the most part done. So as you can see, have it only running here in uh, landscape mode and what it is is it's actually pulling an API from the New York Times and it's a list of all the current US senators and if you click on a senator it's going to display their name their party their state um, how many votes uh, percentage they missed and how many times they vote along party lines so as you can see these numbers change depending on who you click so go ahead and reference the rubric here uh, so, yep, everything is structured properly. Um, I do use two different fragments. I have my team list fragment, and this is where the vast majority of stuff happens, uh, up to and including the actual API call. Um, it does check to see if there is, uh, or yeah, if it is online or not online. If it's not online, it does read from, if we go all the way down here. So, when it does the async task originally for the very first time, uh, it actually will write everything to um, either a file or just continue to parse everything. And then the create file here. So yeah, so it goes and saves it as a text file. And then it will read it up here. If it is not, there is no internet. Uh, so obviously if it is online, it's going to go ahead and just do another API call. It's not online, I'm going to read the file and then parse everything from the API data list that's stored locally. If it's not stored locally, or if there, it's the very first time the application is running and there is no internet, so therefore there's no API data, then it's actually going to give it a little alert stating, hey, that you have to always connect to the internet once to be able to cache the data. So you can see, yeah, that's everything in my fragment here. Uh, the main detail, it's maybe again, pretty bare. Um, so when it does pass it to the team detail fragment, so it's actually passing it and I get it from a hash map and when we go ahead and I have it actually set to each senator is given a unique ID number and that's actually from the API and then using that I'm able to get the information out from the individual headline and then it sets it to the actual display uh, detail. Go back over here. So, yep, so I do an async task. Um, obviously, do not have not put in the ability to actually search it or modify that. So I did just kind of do the good on that one. Um, so yeah, so it accepts fragment queries. Um, it does verify everything, and then um, I, I do store it to a file locally and then it will reference that depending on what your internet connection is. Now, I do have a preference tab set up, so as you can see we can click on preferences. It brings up to where this is going to be for our internet connection preferences, download connection, and you have the ability to change that depending on what it is. As you can see it did change, so now it's just Wi-Fi only. We can go back and obviously everything is still going to still gonna work. And again, preferences You can see now it did change it and added the 3G on there. Yeah, so that's uh, my preferences. And again, they're being shared as a saved preferences here in the fragment. Go down here. Where are they? I'm sorry, it is my team list activity for the different preferences. Um, and then it will refresh based on what it is that you are displaying. Cool. So that is it for my uh, project number one for Java 2. And again, this is for the file, uh, fragment and file fundamentals. You can see I wasn't able to get everything completely done this week, but. Uh, We'll say definitely was a challenge, but I was able to get almost everything working. Cool. So that's it. Go ahead. I'll see you guys next week.